Hello, my name is Bob Prince. I'm the brand ambassador with Cafe Vita, and I've been here at Cafe Vita for the last seven years. Capitol Hill in the early 90s was uh, really a lot grittier than it is now. Um, Rudy's and Cafe Vita were a few of the first businesses to, to open up, it really started the pioneering of the new businesses here. There wasn't any uh, option to get your hair cut in, in Seattle besides the chains, and so the first time I walked into Rudy's was that first day it opened, and man, there was quite a buzz going on. And, uh, I thought this is a place to, this is a great place to get your hair cut. I, I've got to do it. So I did and I've been going since, uh, since 1992. When I think of Rudy's and Vita and Capitol Hill, um, I think of uh, businesses that started out um, offering just really high quality and uh, actually offering no apologies about how they went about doing business. At Vita, it was just about a quality cup of coffee. When I go to Rudy's, I feel it's the same way. I feel that partnership between Rudy's and Cafe Vita is very similar because of that. When it came time to get uh, my six-year-old son Sullivan's first haircut, we went to Rudy's Capitol Hill because I couldn't imagine going somewhere else. It's a great uh, bonding experience that we have every time we go. My name is Sullivan and my I'm six years old. What I like about Rudy's is I like it's a rock and roll barber shop. I think the haircuts are cute. I like the tattoos and piercings. What I love about the atmosphere at Rudy's is how open it is. Um, you see a stylist with piercings and tats and you look at the collage on the wall and it's it's contemporary and somewhat avant-garde, and uh, that's a that's a place that I think that when it opened in the in the 90s, there was no no place like that for people to be so open, at least at a barbershop. It really speaks to the fact that um, this is uh, a really successful plan, and uh, it can uh, span the generations. Higher, higher.